Hello there, my name is Pixpoo, and welcome to a game called Rooted in Darkness, a game about doing some escape room type gameplay and getting out. Let's get into it. Okay, so we have a menu, and that's very good. We love when the games have menus. So let's click start. Oh. Oh, bonk. Okay. Oh. This is very interesting, actually. I really... I already... I already like the art style, actually. We can't do anything with that door. We've got a key here. Okay. I don't know what that's about. I assume I used the key on the, the door, I think. What is... Oh, is that like a body? What? What is this? I can't seem to grab that. Okay. Okay, there's nothing in there. Okay. Um. It's a generator? This is so weird. This is actually like such a weird thing. Okay. Um, so this is a game about escape room type gameplay. I said there's two cinematics. Um, I said there's, I think there's only the one ending to it. Okay, so we need the key for that. Fuck me, dude. Stop. Stop it. Okay. We turn off the generator. We hit the button. That's sealed, I think. That's bolted, it looks like. Okay, we've got this. Maybe we use this on the uh, thing in the beginning? Yep. Oh, we have a hand. We have a hand with a screwdriver, it looks like. Yep. Okay. Okay, so we can't go through there. Um... Dude, where do I go? Oh, here we go. Is that for this? No, it's not. Okay. So we're not quite there yet. We're not quite to the point of leaving yet, I don't think. Oh, dude, the strings. Not the plucky strings. We have a heart here and some faces. Oh, that's gross. Boom. Okay, let's just grab the heart. <laughs> Yoink. <laughs> Well, that was it. That was a pretty short game. Um, okay, well, uh, geez. Okay, let's go on to the next section. So that was Rooted in Darkness. That was a very cool, very unique game. Um, the art style was completely unique. I love the pixelated, the pixelated stuff. And the hand was like very, um, very animated for how pixelated it was, you know? Everything was animated, and it was really nice. I really liked it. It kind of reminded me of the old, um, of, like, old point-and-click games, how some of them would have, like, a hand icon, and they would, uh, and they would be pixelated like that, and then they would have the different animations for whenever you click and hold stuff. That kind of, that's kind of what that reminded me of, to be honest, and I really liked it. I thought it was really cool, and I thought it was a nice touch. The ambiance, the ambiance was very, very good. It was, um, it was creepy the whole time. You knew you were locked in the basement. It just sounded creepy and it sounded droopy and drippy and 
it sounded like what a dingy, gross basement would sound like. And there were these moments where I think, um, you know, it did the do 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 that. And I think that was because of progressing. Either it's because it's on a time a timer where it does that randomly, or that's just from progressing and it does that. And it kind of keeps you on your toes a little bit. So I did really like that. There wasn't a monster. There was not a monster, but it wasn't um, this fine. It wasn't really a scary game, to be honest, but I would have preferred it to have a little bit of a monster. Maybe like um, the thing that bonked you, maybe it's like, talking to you through the walls or something and it's like trying to talk to you or something like that i don't know just something weird like that but no monster so that's fine um it just wasn't really it wasn't really a very scary game it had it definitely had the atmosphere i will say that it had the atmosphere and it was creepy it was really creepy but it just wasn't like scary scary you know it was cool but not really scary but it was still an awesome game a very awesome game the does the level design was very good um, I liked how there was like bodies around and there were faces in the walls and it all looked gross and dark and dingy. I really liked all the just level design and all the stuff that they put in it. It was just really cool, you know? It was just really good level design. And it was creepy as well with the faces in the wall, especially over there by the heart. You could see the faces on the corners and stuff and they're just like, they're just looking at you. It's gross and it's creepy, but it's really cool. I really love stuff like that i really love stuff like that overall i would say the game for how short it was it was a very good game i just wish you know i think other people as well who played this game would wish the same they wish and i wish that it had more i wish it was a longer game um like maybe like a five minute five minutes longer you know maybe like an extra room or maybe like a second ending or something like that just to get you a little bit further you know just to get a little bit more out of it but it was still a really good experience, a really cool game, and I enjoyed it. That was Rooted in Darkness. That was everything I wanted to talk about. I've been Pixpoo. Thank you for watching. I hope you enjoyed. Bye!